We all know Anthony Hopkins is the superstar actor and he's been working in the industry for what seems like forever now. The Hollywood veteran has managed to live in some pretty luxurious real estate over the years, including a former home in Malibu and his primary residence, a large $7 million mansion in the Pacific Palisades neighborhood of Los Angeles. During a span of three months in 2019, Hopkins spent $13 million to also buy up the neighboring properties, creating a mini compound. Reports say Anthony owns two other properties in the Palisades. When you factor in that former mansion in Malibu, Anthony has owned at least $30 million worth of real estate in the Los Angeles area alone. Anthony had purchased his former Malibu mansion in 2001 for $3.8 million, while recently listing the property for sale in February 2020 for $11.5 million. He still came out on top, finally closing the deal at $10.5 million. In this video, we'll take a look at the actors' stunning homes. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Anthony Hopkins has had quite the Hollywood career, garnering a net worth of $160 million and is generally recognized as one of the greatest actors of all time. This A-list celebrity who started his career on stage has gone on to win an Oscar, two Emmy Awards, three BAFTA Awards, a Golden Globe, and a Cecile B. DeMille Award for Lifetime Achievement. In addition, in 1993, Hopkins was knighted by Queen Elizabeth II for services to the arts. Hopkins received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame in 2003. At the financial peak of his career in the late 90s and early 2000s, Hopkins was one of the highest paid actors out there, earning $15 million to come back to the famed role of Hannibal Lecter in the 2001 sequel Hannibal, and $20 million for the follow-up Red Dragon in 2002. Anthony went on to collect a few more major paydays, including $5 million for Mission Impossible 2, which was only a relatively small supporting role, and $15 million for 2010 horror remake The Wolfman. One possible reason reason for Hopkins' success in the film industry is his renowned preparation for roles. He said in interviews that once he has committed to a project, he'll go over his lines as many times as needed, sometimes upwards of 200 until the lines sound natural to him. He does this so he can do it without thinking. So when you're lighting up Hollywood with blockbusters like Hopkins, you're obviously going to live in some fancy homes. We'll take a look at his former Malibu home, a Cape Cod style property located on Point Doom, and his modern abode at the Palisades Bluff location. This home features an 800 bottle wine cellar, large theater room, and 655 square foot rooftop deck. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer, and I'm bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. Today, we're going to check out award winning actor Anthony Hopkins' properties and where he calls home, including his Pacific Palisades compound and more. If you like this video, we've done house tours on other big screen stars like Viola Davis and Regina King, who also appeared at the 2021 Oscars like Hopkins. We'll link to some at the end. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. Back in 2001, Hopkins dropped $3.8 million for a 4,000 square foot, five bedroom and five bathroom Malibu beach home. In addition, the estate is situated on approximately one acre of lush grounds with breathtaking head on Pacific Ocean, Catalina Island, Palos Verdes and coastline views. Hopkins listed the Cape Cod style property pretty recently in 2020, located on the prestigious stretch of coastline known as Point Doom for $11.5 million and it eventually sold for $10.5 the two-story home was decked out in white and featured red shingled roofing, dormer windows, and sits on a high cliff overlooking the sands and ocean below. The main residence here features four bedrooms and there's also a one-bedroom guest house and a pool house on the lot, which spans a little more than an acre in size. The home features a large living area with a white painted stone fireplace. There are wood floors throughout and a kitchen with a tiled floor that opens to a glass enclosed breakfast room. In addition, the home features breathtaking views that are offered from every room in the main house. There are also a number of luxurious features, including an infinity pool, spa, outdoor kitchen, and barbecue area. In addition to two sophisticated fireplaces, the master suite features a sauna with views of the beach connected by a spiraling staircase. The side of the residence that faces the ocean has two sprawling decks with lavish furnishings and comes complete with an atrium. Quite possibly the most appealing feature is the fact that this property is a stone's throw away from the glamorous Malibu beach. While living here, Hopkins apparently switched out 
out the original look, painting the exterior a light yellow and adding clay tile to the roof. While Hopkins' former home in Malibu was impressive, his current residence in the Pacific Palisades has got to be the showstopper in this house tour. Back in 2018, Hopkins dropped $6.6 million for a 5,778 square foot home with 5 beds and 8 bathrooms. The brand's banking new modern home is in the prime Palisades Buff location and it features 3 levels and disappearing pocket doors that open automatically to create a seamless indoor-outdoor flow. The estate also boasts generous use of top-of-the-line natural stone and wide plank oak floors throughout. Anthony's home features a number of luxurious lounging and common rooms that are fitted with sleek furnishings, custom fixtures, fireplaces and oversized windows allowing for tons of natural light and giving the spaces an airy feel. Hopkins personal home theater here is decked out with colossal plush white furniture, a large projector screen and a wet bar perfect for reliving his favorite Silence of the Lamb moments on screen. The lower level of the actor's estate also features a huge 800 bottle wine cellar with detailed finishes, a games room and a gym yoga studio. Since Hopkins is a recovering alcoholic who's been sober since 1975, my guess is that he's since transformed that wine room into something else. The kitchen here is outfitted with all meal appliances, marble countertops and a large central island. One thing that's noticeable about Anthony's home is also how contemporary it is, with a lot of fresh whites and grays throughout the residence. The sanctuary, aka Anthony's master suite, is on the top level and has a bedroom revealing ocean views through glass sliders as well as a balcony and roomy sitting area. The attached bath has a glass shower, separate tub and is outfitted in sleek marble. And we all know Anthony likes his sauna so he'll be happy to know that his current residence features an awe-inspiring white marble sauna that comes complete with his and hers change rooms linked to the yoga room, perfect for an at-home spa day. As glamorous as the interior of the home is, the exterior features a 655 square foot rooftop deck that comes complete with panoramic ocean and mountain views. While the backyard is smaller than you might have thought, it is a tightly packed neighborhood and it still fits a grassy lawn and a sparkling pool with waterfall feature and attached spa. In addition, the home features a number of other things, including a four level elevator, a sprawling office, and an environmentally friendly garage with four electric car outlets down below and space for a few luxury vehicles. Our boy Anthony is clearly fond of the Pacific Palisades. Aside from this modern home, he's also got a luxury condo in the area and he continues to own his Palisades starter house. This estate was purchased way back in 1995 for $660,000 and is definitely more humble. The three bed, two bath cottage has only 1,748 square feet of living space and is super hidden behind trees and tall hedges. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end right here. We got to take a quick look at Anthony Hopkins Homes and that impressive modern home that has its own 655 square foot rooftop deck. After seeing that fancy property he lives at, what did you think? Was it everything you would expect out of Hopkins? Personally, I think he made the right choice with the Palisades home over the Malibu beachfront home. Out of the features in Anthony's mansions, which were your favorite? Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. If you haven't, go subscribe to my personal channel because I would love to get to know all of you better. We'll link you my latest video. Luca Magnotta had an obsession with the movie Basic Instincts and there were actually similarities with his murder. In 2003, he began his sporadic porn career. I think he, Luca was being cannibalistic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will see you all next time. Bye.